Hello everyone. Today I'd like to share a story about the incredible power of silence and how it can help transform your life. This story has been passed down through generations and it carries a message that is especially relevant for those on their journey to recovery. Gautam Buddha once taught his students the profound impact of words. He compared our tongue, the tool we use to speak, to the sharpest knife in the world. He emphasized that our words can be both a source of strength and a weakness. While they may not physically harm others, they have the potential to hurt people emotionally. In other words, words have the power to heal or harm. Our tongue, the sharpest knife, can be a double-edged sword. It can uplift, inspire, and comfort, or it can cut, wound, and destroy. The most dangerous weapons in the world, according to Gautam Buddha, is our words. They don't cause physical harm, but they can inflict deep emotional wounds. Our words can be a source of strength, wisdom, and positivity. However, if we're not mindful of when, where, and how we use them, they can become a weakness, causing pain and suffering. Now, let me share a story that illustrates the importance of silence. Once upon a time, in the serene land of India, there lived a renowned Buddhist monk. This monk resided in a secluded monastery deep within the quiet forest, far removed from the noise and distractions of the world. He was highly revered for his meditative wisdom. One day, a troubled king approached the monk. The king confessed, respected monk, I have everything one to desire wealth, fame, and all the luxuries one could dream of. However, I feel constant restlessness, frustration, and inner turmoil. My mind is in chaos and I seek peace. Please help me to find it. The monk offered the king a transformative experiment. He said, your answer lies within, but you must discover it for yourself. Over the next 15 days, you will stay in my monastery and live as an ordinary person. During this time, speak as little as possible and embrace silence. Although the king agreed, he felt uneasy about this arrangement. Nonetheless, he embarked on this silent journey, resisting the urge to speak. In those initial days, his mind seemed even more restless, flooded with questions and thoughts. It was challenging to let go of the habit of talking and simply sit and listen. As the days passed, something remarkable occurred. The king began to experience an unexpected sense of calm and happiness. He was connecting with the world around him in a profound way. He marveled at the beauty of nature, flowers, plants, and the sky. It was a feeling he had never truly appreciated before. With each passing day, the inner restlessness and chaos that had plagued the king's mind gradually vanished. On the twelfth day, he entered deep meditation, a state of profound tranquility and peace. He felt an inner serenity that he had never known before. The king approached the Buddhist monk, transformed and filled with gratitude. He explained that he had discovered the cause of his restless mind. The king realized that excessive talking, often negative and wasteful, had been the source of his inner turmoil. This habit had been draining his energy, affecting his performance and leading to failure. The monk shared with the king the wisdom of silence and the importance of using words carefully. He cited the story of the Tan Buddha who emphasized the significance of silence as a path to self-discovery. When we talk too much, we often create chaos in our minds, making it difficult to focus on our goals and understand the true meaning of life. Excessive talking can disrupt our success and lead to unhappiness. People who talk excessively may struggle to concentrate, frequently resort to dishonesty, and engage in negative discussions about others, which can harm relationships and reputations. 
the respect and trust others place in our words can be diminished. In contrast, individuals who speak thoughtfully use words mindfully, often earn respect from others. They are perceived as honest and sincere. Their words carry weight and influence. The monk encouraged the king and all of us to embrace silence daily. He said that just 20 minutes of solitude can bring a profound positive change to our lives. He reminded us that in a world filled with noise, being quiet can help us find peace. In conclusion, silence is not an absence of sound, but an opportunity to listen to your inner self. It is a powerful tool that can guide you on the path to recovery and sobriety. By embracing silence, you can find strength, inner peace, and a greater understanding of yourself. Remember, your words have the power to heal or harm. Choose your words wisely and know that it's often in silence that the deepest transformations occur. Thank you for joining me on this journey of wisdom and enlightenment. I invite you to become an integral part of the Broken Crayon Steel Color community by liking, sharing, and leaving your thoughts in the comments. By engaging with our community, you are fueling our mission to inspire and bring tranquility to the lives of many. Together, we can walk the path of recovery and healing. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and friends. Today I stand before you to share a story of determination, resilience, and the unyielding spirit of never giving up, both in the context of addiction recovery and in life's broader challenges. It's a story that I hope will inspire each one of you to persevere on your own unique journey, no matter how daunting the path may seem. I want to take you back to a time when I faced a monumental challenge, applying for doctoral programs. It was a dream I held dear to my heart, a vision of my future that I cherished deeply. Yet the road to achieving that dream was far from smooth. I submitted my first application with a mixture of excitement and trepidation, eagerly awaiting a positive response. But that response never came. The disappointment was crushing and I was left questioning my abilities and the validity of my dreams. However, I refused to let that initial rejection define me. I pushed forward, tailoring my application honing my skills and sending out another application. And then another rejection. The pattern continued, each rejection stinging like a fresh wound. The fear of being told no became a constant companion, whispering doubts in my ear. I had every reason to quit to give in to the overwhelming despair and abandon my dream, but I couldn't. I refused to let rejection be the final chapter of my story. Instead, I turned it into a driving force, an unwavering determination to prove, not just to others, but to myself, that I was capable of achieving my dreams. So I kept going, application after application, rejection after rejection, four, Seven, 10 applications, still no yes. But with each no, I learned. I improved, I grew stronger, more resilient and more determined. And then it happened. On the 14th try, I received the acceptance letter I had longed for. I was on my way to pursuing my doctoral degree, a dream that had once seemed unattainable. Why do I share this story with you today, especially in the context of addiction recovery? 
because it's a testament to the power of consistency and unwavering effort, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles. It's a reminder that just as I faced rejection but never gave up, so too can you find the strength to persevere on your journey to recovery. Addiction recovery is not a linear path. It's filled with its own set of rejections, challenges, and setbacks. At times, it may feel as if the weight of your past mistakes is too heavy to bear. You might encounter moments of self-doubt, wondering if you'll break free from the cycle of addiction. But remember, recovery is not defined by the moments of struggle. It's defined by your relentless pursuit of a better, healthier life. It's about getting up after each fail, learning from your mistakes, and continuing to move forward, no matter how many times you stumble. Just as I applied for doctoral programs 14 times before achieving my dream, so too can you apply the principles of consistency and effort to your recovery journey. You may face setbacks, but each one is an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to strengthen your resolve. Never underestimate the power of determination and the capacity for change within you. You have the strength to overcome addiction, to rebuild your life, and to achieve your dreams. It might take time, it might take effort, but it's a journey worth embarking upon. So I implore each one of you, no matter where you are in your recovery journey, to hold on to the belief that you can overcome. Remember that the darkest nights lead to the brightest days. Stay consistent, keep putting in the effort, and never give up on your pursuit of a healthier, happier, and more fulfilling life. Thank you, and may your journey be filled with unwavering determination and countless moments of triumph. Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, today we gather in this digital space connected by a common thread, the journey towards recovery from addiction. We are here to talk about a powerful tool that can guide us through the most challenging moments in life, faith. Now, when I speak of faith, I don't mean to impose any particular belief upon you. Faith can take many forms. It can be your unwavering trust in Allah, the boundless love of God, or any spiritual forces that resonate with your soul. What's important is that you have faith a source of strength that transcends the struggles you face. For me, my faith rests in Jesus, and in the book of Matthew 18.20 it is written, For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. We are gathered here today in this digital space, and we are rooting for you, praying for you, and supporting you in your journey to recovery. I want you to take a moment and reflect on your life. Think back to a time when you faced what seemed like an insurmountable obstacle. Maybe it was learning to ride a bike, passing a challenging grade, or overcoming a personal crisis. Remember how helpless you felt at times, how daunting the task seemed? But now consider this. While you undoubtedly put in hard work, dedication, and perseverance, there was something greater than yourself that carried you over the edge. It was as if a divine force intervened, giving you the strength and guidance you needed to prevail. Today, I want you to reconnect with that truth. Understand that the same divine intervention that helped you in those moments is available to you right now. It's within your reach. 
waiting for you to tap into it, to surrender to it, and to allow it to carry you through to recovery. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up. It means giving in to the possibility of a brighter, addiction-free future. It means acknowledging that just as you've been carried through challenges before, you can be carried through this one as well. Lean on your faith, whatever form it takes, and let it be your guiding light. Have faith in yourself, in the support system around you, and in the higher power that walks beside you. Believe that recovery is not just possible, it's inevitable. As you embark on this journey, remember that you are not alone. You are surrounded by individuals who care about your well-being, who believe in your strength, and who are here to walk this path with you. Reach out to them, share your struggles, and let their support bolster your faith. Today, I ask you to surrender to the power of faith Trust that just as you've conquered obstacles before, you will overcome addiction. Have faith in the better days that lie ahead and know that we are here to support you every step of the way. May your faith be your beacon of hope, guiding you through the darkest nights towards the dawn of recovery. Remember you are stronger than you know and with faith as your compass, you will find your way. Thank you, and may your journey be blessed with strength, courage, and unwavering faith. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about something remarkable, your inner dialogue, the constant stream of thoughts, emotions, and habits that shape who you are. This isn't just about your everyday self-talk, it's about your self-story, a tale that's been told and retold within your mind over the years. Think of this self-story like a well-worn path in a forest. It's been traveled so frequently that your body knows the way better than your mind. But what if I told you that you can create new paths? That you can consciously change this self-story, mold it to serve your growth and your well-being. 
Every day, we're inundated with negative thoughts and habits, much like driving down the same old road repeatedly. But change is possible, and it starts with recognizing your current patterns. Your brain, like a muscle, can be trained, and it's crucial to understand that transformation is an ongoing process much like the process of building a healthier body. To break the cycle of redundant thought, you must focus on what you want to change, one small habit at a time. Remember, your thoughts are influenced by the world around you, like getting caught up in the tone of a good book. The outside world impacts your inner dialogue. Your self-talk is deeply personal. It's your secret garden, a sanctuary for growth. You get to decide what goes on in there, whether it's religious, spiritual, or simply affirmations of self-love. The choice is yours. The core of it is kindness to yourself, for you don't need another adversary. You need a friend. You can imagine this transformation like rerouting a well-established path. It's not easy and it takes time, but once you've cleared that new path in your mental forest, it will become just as second nature as the old one. So remember, you have the power to change your self story. Your life is an ever evolving journey and you're at the hill. You must steer it in a direction that fills you with joy, gratitude, and love. Finally, consider this. Your potential for happiness, transformation, and love is boundless. Every issue that humanity faces today, from nourishment to education, can be solved with the available resources and technology. Yet. A state of constant anxiety and depression plagues many. The true change needed is in the human consciousness. All else is ready and waiting. Your life can be a tale of endless celebration and discovery. To create a world of love, light, and laughter, we must first look inward and unleash the joyful, loving, and confident being within us. You have what it takes. Start changing the story that you're telling yourself today. You've got this. Today I stand before you with a heart filled with compassion, empathy, and a profound belief in your strength and resilience. We gather here not as strangers, but as a united community of individuals who understand the struggles of addiction. Together we will embrace the power within us to overcome the seemingly insurmountable challenges that addiction presents. Let me be candid with you. Addiction is a formidable adversary. It has the power to cloud our judgment diminish our self-worth, and lead us down a path of despair. Yet here's the most crucial truth. You are not alone in this battle. You are not powerless, even though addiction may have convinced you otherwise. One of the most profound lessons in the journey to recovery is acknowledging that we are indeed powerless over our addiction. It takes immense courage to look in the mirror and admit that the substances we once believed gave us relief have now taken control. It's in this humility that we discover a key to freedom. Surrendering to a higher power, whether you call it the universe, a divine force, God, or your inner strength, 
is the first step toward liberation. Seek within yourself, deep into the core of your being, and ask for assistance. You possess an inner strength that is boundless and capable of incredible feats. You have the power to reclaim your life, to rediscover your worth, and to mend the relationships that addiction may have strained. Remember the wise words of a great thinker who once said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. It's time to ask yourselves, when do you plan to do something different? When will you take that courageous step towards change? My friends, the time is now. Embrace this moment as an opportunity for transformation, for rebirth, and for the creation of a brighter future. I encourage you to realize that you are not defined by your past mistakes, but rather by the strength and resilience that lies within you. Each day is a chance to make choices that lead you away from the chains of addiction and towards the freedom of recovery. Every step you take is a victory, and with each victory, you become more empowered and more alive. Surround yourselves with a support system that understands and believes in your journey. Seek guidance from those who have walked this path before you, for their wisdom can be a guiding light in the darkest of times. You have the power to rewrite your story to paint your life's canvas with bright colors of hope, love, and discovery. As you embark on this journey, remember that it is not a journey of perfection, but one of progress. Be gentle with yourselves, forgive your past, and embrace the beautiful possibilities that await you. In closing, I want you to know that you are stronger than you realize, more resilient than you can imagine, and capable of achieving the extraordinary. The world is waiting for the incredible gifts that you, in your full potential, can bring. So I ask you, when do you plan to do something different? The answer is simple, now. Together we rise with the chains of addiction, one step, one day at a time. You are not alone in this battle. And with unwavering determination and the support of your higher power, you will conquer it. Your brighter, sober future is within reach and I believe in each and every one of you you've got this